Hello awesome fans, this is Big Pete here. Hey, Carl Pete here. Today we're going to do a review about the horror movie It. It. Uh, it's a horror movie as you know. Like this movie is kind of like some people say it's a remake or the reboot of the original series which is in 1980 it's a 80s. 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 Uh, I remember watching the first one but after so long everything the story doesn't come together but those of you who have not seen the old uh, movie doesn't matter you actually can start off with this one mm. because this one is kind of re it's a total re reboot retelling it's a total the reboot. story again uh, in a very different way a modern setting of cinematography uh, sound and visual effects but Obviously. the setting is still in the 80s uh, which they preserve the kind of like you know in the 80s the kids are going out to play together bicycles, yeah, bicycles there was no internet no smartphone yeah high schools uh, and things like that all, all those are in there that's that's a very nice setting that i kind of like that they preserve that part not to remake a new one that is the modern setting which yeah. spoils a lot of the old <laughs> reboots uh, movies uh, nowadays yeah so that you, you're right in that because i am really glad that they actually um kept the essence of the setting of the book right because it was set in the 80s so yeah. they didn't try even though they rebooted this movie they didn't try to bring it to a modern setting and that is where i think uh, it shines very well because for a movie that's set in the 80s it takes the the viewers out from the comfort zone because you don't get the cliches like you know i'm stuck in a lift or you know yeah. i'm i'm in a in a building where there's a lot of ghosts waiting to scare me out <laughs> a big chunk of the movie is actually in the underground where they actually the kids are in sewers trying mm. to find uh, you know the missing kids so that that's the one of the plot that i would happening. say uh, the story portrays the kid to be extremely brave because I wouldn't go down to the sewer, <laughs> sewer and you know find. Uh, I mean, it has a backstory of it why they actually end up in the sewer, because um, the story build up is actually quite nice. Only certain part of the movie where I I, I personally felt that you know like any horror horror movies like there are five kids, so the first one happened to experience it you know. Um, and then the second will come together, third with fourth, and so that is a bit of the draggy part, and uh, it repeats, even though it's a different story. Yeah, it's a bit refreshing, but you know that it's gonna uh, go down to the last person um, to how they actually yeah. scare the kids. I mean, um, in in a way, this movie is also quite enjoyable because it is very similar to an adventure of young kids, that just like the old Goonies. Stand by me, yes, yes, right? Yes. So the adults don't have a role at all in this movie. All the lead actors are actually the young kids, which I think they did a very good job in this, right? Well, even though they are doing very well on the storytelling part, uh, the planning, and I hate most is what I hate most is the you know the music, the 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 sound of scare, you know, like cheap scare, you know, using. The, the the sound to scare you more than actually you know you're scared from what what they are showing you uh, that part is a bit annoying but apart from that I would say uh, I will enjoy the whole story setting the the movie is very well planned and done um, the draggy part is just the beginning then from there onwards you will actually want to see what's happening uh, in the whole movie itself yeah um, I I totally get what you mean about you know how the over reliance on sound effects and the music because uh, if you watch this movie whenever you hear a uh, loud suspenseful music you know that oh man it is coming out yeah. so it was kind of you know relying on it's loud music that, that for the, the the cheap scares but then again coming for uh, a scary movie like this I kind of check my brain at the door I'm like yeah you know this is gonna be a cheap ride lah, you know I'm not expecting some intricate plot <laughs> that drives the story around yeah it's, it's not just about like a ghost like you say um, in the beginning is not a um, ghost story it's related to something like a monster like uh, we won't give away too much on that you you have to go and see it um, it's very different in a way like those scary stories that parents will tell you that monsters will come and get you uh, this one has a bit of element but the focus is not about it actually 
Yeah, so if you have seen a trailer and you say, ah man, the story about clown, actually um, that is very far from the truth, right? The scary movie is not about a clown. So don't be misled if you've been putting off from watching it. I would highly recommend you to go and watch it. You know, don't be fooled by the trailer. Actually, the movie has a lot more going for it. Yeah, it has more to offer, which is good. Yeah. Um, talking about the kids earlier, you know, being the uh, the lead actors, you know, for this movie. I when I saw the uh, the only girl in the movie, which is Beverly, she kind of rem- reminded me of a. You know, she looked like a lot like a young Amy Adams or Scarlett Johansson. Yeah. Right, especially after she cuts her hair, so the red hair. Yeah, the, the resemblance is uncanny. And she's brave. <laughs> she's very brave, and obviously this movie is doing very very well um, across the world, right? Um, the movie only costs about thirty five million to make, but so far you know they they already box office already reported over one hundred and thirty five. Uh, millions already so yeah. movie has made a lot more money. the old the old uh, movie was did very well as well so I'm sure those who have seen it oh, I'm gonna go and watch this one no matter how bad how good because it's uh, Stephen King's story time is amazing actually yes, yes. yeah so obviously um, for those of you who are staying for the end credits they are none so don't waste your time waiting for the end credits but from as from the numbers that we have seen, you know, the movie is doing so well globally, uh, we can expect a sequel for sure. Probably when the kids are all grown up, coming back to, you know, take care of it. Okay. Um, there is no end credits, but there is an... Snippet or a sneak peek. Yeah, there, you, there is a sound of it laughing. So you know that he's not dead. Yeah. Um, and be, you know, you'll be expecting uh, part two. Of this, yeah. Actually, one thing I'm glad about the movie was how uh, the way they end the movie. So that one was really nicely done, right? Uh, despite how certain part of the movie they used to rely on the cheap scares, but at the end of the movie they didn't have all the kids riding off to a sunset. So I thought it was pretty alright. Yeah, the end of the movie is actually like a climax of yeah. the whole movie. So if um, yeah, it brings we, back yeah, sorry, it brings back the the kind of. Um, you know, uh, Fright Night, you know, those 80s horror movie that the end is the climax and then you have a ending but not too sweet ending yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, but overall, uh, the movie was quite enjoyable. Um, like I said, you know, when I knew I was watching it, I checked my brain at the door and <laughs> I knew I was just coming for a roller coaster scare fest. Lah. Um, and how, how would you rate this movie? Um, from one out of ten for a scary movie, I would rate it at a eight because I, you know, thoroughly enjoyed it. Surprisingly, you know, I wasn't really expecting much because all I knew was it was based on a novel from Stephen King. But you know, when I when I first saw the trailers, I was like, oh man, a scary clown! How scary can it be? But the movie really proved me wrong. Um, all the updated visual effects and just the way they drew you into the movie, I think it's it's quite enjoyable. Yeah, that, I mean, uh, for me, I would, I don't give it such a high rating. I give it a seven out of ten because of the story. Beginning of the story was a bit draggy. Yeah, the screenplay was a bit. Yeah, this, and the, the cheap scare sound that that really annoys me. <laughs> yeah, but all in all, I think this year has been a good year for scary movie, the horror genre, right? You have. Annabelle Creations yeah. uh, We have the Korean movie Mimic Mimic is coming out uh, soon Coming out soon uh, We also had the um, What was the other one? The Tag Along 2 The, the Taiwanese uh, scary movie Which is uh, you know doing very well at the box office as well There are a few coming up As we saw the trailer The Snowman The yeah. Killer series trailer So all in all this year has been a very good year for the horror genre Yeah Right So uh, if you have not seen it we will highly recommend you to go and see it. Yes. Don't be fooled by the trailer. It is not just a, a story about a scary clown. Yeah. So uh, that's all for our review. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.